Hello, how are you doing? Good, I'm doing well, how are you? I'm fine. How are you doing? I'm doing good too, thank you. Okay, wh what's your name? My name is Joshua. Joshua, please, what's your name? Debbie. Debbie. Okay, so I'll start with Joshua, then I come to Debbie. Um, how is life in Ghana so far for you? Life in Ghana so far has been great. I am originally born in Canada, so to be here it's a new experience for me, but so far it's been beautiful and amazing, I gotta say. Okay, is, is it your first time? My, my second time here, but really my first time. My first time I was here, I was only 18 months. So it's really my first time here. <laughs> so technically it's your, it's <laughs> <Yeah>. your first time. <laughs> technically it's my first time, okay. yeah. Has it met your expectation? Um, I think it's succeeded my expectations for sure. Okay. I didn't know too much of what to expect except for the stories that I've heard from my parents who were oh, born here. What, what were some of the stories? Oh, I, I don't even know where to start. So many <laughs> different stories that I've heard from them. Okay. But but now I've I've learned a lot of new things, which is which is very cool. So definitely more than I expected. Okay, so let assume you go back and uh, a friend, a close friend, asks you. So what was the best experience you had in Ghana? What what are you going to tell them? At least so far. Wow, that's a tough question because we've done a lot. Honestly, the first thing that comes to my mind right now is the Aburi Gardens here right now with all the stories we've heard about the different trees that they have here, different medications and stuff you can get from the leaves here, mm -hmm. and all the stories of the trees, how old they are and everything. It's been amazing. So that's probably what I'd start with if somebody asked me. Okay, so someone that's looking at you right now and uh, who also aspires to come to Ghana, uh, but they are looking for someone to convince them to come. What do you have to tell them? convince them to come to Ghana. Yeah. I'll tell them you won't find any better food in any other country. <laughs> That's what I'd say to them. <laughs> What's your favorite food? My favorite food is yeah. jollof rice, jollof for sure. <laughs> Ghana. Ghana jollof rice. Ghana jollof, Ghana jollof rice. rice. Okay, okay. All right. Thank you. So yeah. I'll, I'll move to it. Yes. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. So what's your experience so far? Uh, I love it. Yeah, I've been having a really great time. And it's really fun to be here with my family. Mm. Uh, so I'm here with my brother mm. um, and my other siblings and my parents. And we're happy to be back home. Okay. Okay. So um, what's, what, is, it, is it your first time? Uh, no, it's my third time. So your I also... Time. I also went once when I was 18 months old, mm. um, but then I was here two years ago with my okay. mom and my dad, and okay. now I'm here again. Okay, but now when you go to social media, it feels mm -hmm. like now Ghana is the hot spot for tourist attraction, and I feel it's a very good thing for us as a country. I agree. Uh, what, why do you think things are changing with regards to people, how they, they used to see Ghana, and how now people are seeing Ghana? Now, what do you think is the reason? That's a good question. I, I think that... Ghana has always been beautiful, okay. and it's always had a lot to offer. Mm. I think maybe the biggest difference now is that people know. Um, and because of how easy information flows, people are just more aware of the fun things you can do here. People are more aware that celebrities have come here. Mm. People are more aware of the culture and the music and the food. Mm. Um, and once you know, you want to see. you got to see. Okay, okay. So I'm going to ask um, you the same question I asked your brother. Yeah. Um, if there's someone out there that's... Um, want you to convince them mm -hmm. to come to Ghana, what do you have to say to them? I'd say you won't regret it. Okay. Uh, for me, coming back here was a trip that changed my life. Mm -hmm. um, there's so much to see, so much to do. Uh, you can go to Kakum, you can try some food, you can go to the Cape Coast Castle, you can learn a lot about the history and rich culture here. If you come to Ghana, you will not regret it. Hi, how are you doing? Hi, I'm good, how are you? I'm fine. What's your name? My name is Leisha. Leisha. Leisha, where, where are you from? So I was born in Canada, mm. um, and I have Jamaican and Trinidadian roots. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So this is, is this your first time in Ghana? Yes, it is. Okay. How has the experience been for you so far? It's been great. So we're mm. on a short trip. Mm. We're only here for four days. Okay. Um, and it's been great. We already know that we want to come back and stay longer <laughs> the next time. So, all right. Yeah. All right. Before, before you came to Ghana, what was your expectation? Um, I expected it to be very warm. Mm. Uh, I expected it to be very hospitable because that's what I've heard mm. about it. Mm. Um, and I expected it to look beautiful and it, it does. So yeah. it yeah. matches your expectation. Yes, for okay. sure. Okay. Okay. So someone out there that's watching you mm. and maybe is contemplating whether I should go to Ghana or not. Uh, what do you have to tell them? Definitely go. Definitely okay. give it a try. Okay. Um, it's a long flight for us from Canada, but it's worth all of it, it's worth getting the visa. I would mm. say definitely do it, invest in it. Okay, yeah. so what's your best experience so far in Ghana? Ooh. What do you love about being in Ghana one thing you love in Ghana? I really actually like the long drives, like okay. driving to each um, tour station mm. that we've been to has been really fun. Um, 
I just like seeing everything. So yeah, right. that's been my favorite. Okay, Trisha, thank you. Thank you so much. Hi, what's your name? Jadida. Jadida. Jadida, um, where are you from? Uh, I'm from Ghana, but I live in Switzerland. I was born there. You were born in Switzerland. Okay. Um, is it your first time coming to Ghana? No, please. I've been here a few times. We usually come over to visit family. Okay. Okay. What's the feeling whenever you come home? Uh, the feeling, it's always a warm, fuzzy feeling because I get to see all my cousins that I haven't seen for years or maybe just one year or so. And it's always, it's always really like coming to a second home. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So you, you literally lived most of your life in Switzerland. Yes. Okay. So you, uh, whenever you come to Ghana, what do you think it's one of the biggest culture shocks that's whenever you come to Ghana, you experience? Uh, the biggest culture shock is probably how everyone is quite loud, not necessarily in a negative way, but mm. we're very open, mm. we embrace everybody, um, we can hear music in the background, yeah. that's not really a big thing in Switzerland, everyone's mm. kind of quiet, mm. keeps to themselves, so I like how we embrace everybody, how we're very warm. Mm. Yes. Mm. Okay, so in relation to the education system in Switzerland, do you feel like it's, it has had impact on how um, you as a person, your, your mindset is now? Um, yes, I think so. I think the education system in Switzerland is very good. They mm. uh, make a point to make sure that they just lay out everything for you. So you learn a bit of everything mm. and then they want you as an individual to make up your own mind about the world. Mm. And so, yeah. Okay. So it's, it's not like... Um, they give you specific thing to think. They give you the privilege to actually find out what you are interested in, and then they use it as a as a point to educate you. Is that what you're saying? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you feel that has really um, given some um, giving you some kind of mindset. Because initially when we were speaking, and then <laughs> you made a point, and I was like, I was like, how, how old are you again? And you're like, it's like, yo, that's that's really interesting for an 18 years old to have that kind of perception i'm not in any way saying that uh, people don't have that kind of mindset but it's it's actually very impressive to have these kind of mindsets at this age uh what do you think is the contributing factor to maybe the kind of mindsets you have uh at this level um well i think on the one hand my mom and dad okay. uh definitely aside from school um, yeah, I just was very observant and I listened to the things they talk about, the things that uh, is on their hearts regarding Ghana and just the world in general. Mm. So aside from school in Switzerland, I think that also kind of impacted me. And I find different topics very interesting. So I research for myself as well. So that's also okay. how yeah, my All mindset right. was made. All right. All right. Mm. What's one thing you love about being in Ghana? um the sights family the weather okay. yeah just the environment is so nice the atmosphere mm -hmm. so yeah. oh.